you know what's coming. Who invented the stunner? All that kind of thing. And you said, hey. well, it depends how I feel whether I'm going to give the real answer or not on this. But um, okay. right, so uh, uh, I'll tell you what I think, and then you tell me I'm wrong and tell me where I've gone completely wrong. You invented the stunner where you sit, where you sit down on your posterior, and I believe it's from the second rope, the whippersnapper. I believe that you invented it, uh, definitely off the second rope, but I thought yes. you invented the one where you actually sit down rather than an ace crusher or what Michael Hayes was doing, which was more of like a uh, front face lock and then everyone lands on their back and front kind of thing. Am I completely wrong? Okay. Half and half. Half and half. So, what the, the, the whippersnapper, the one I did, was off the middle rope, which seemed like a good idea at the time. Looking back, not, uh, not so much, but I got the stunner from Jimmy Garvin. He came to he was in, he, he was he was gone from WCW for a while, and then he came back on a random pay per view. I think against Johnny B. Bad. He had he, he had been a pilot at that point. He had shaved his head, and he came randomly out of fucking nowhere. Uh, and he did a move to Johnny B. Bad the Stunner, and he called it the nine one one. I said, "Ooh, I think I'm going to steal that." I think I'm going to use that. And so that's where it came from. That was the origins of the stunner for me. Just when, So whenever, if you look up, whenever Jimmy Garvin wrestled Johnny B. Bad with a shaved head, he did the 911. So I started using it. I said, fuck, I'm going to start using it. Well, Steve started using the stunner out of reference, at a, at a suggestion from Michael Hayes. Now, I, don't, I don't know if it was like the Ace Crusher he was getting it from or whatever. Or he saw Jimmy do it to Johnny Be Bad or whatever the fuck it was. So either way you look at this, the stunner, the whippersnapper, can all be credited to the Freebirds. There you go. Where do you mention Johnny B. Bad as well? I interviewed him yesterday. Of all things. Oh, did you? I did. He's he's a deliriously happy that fellow, let me tell you. Um WCW Halloween Havoc nineteen ninety one, it says. Ninety one. Holy does, shit. Does that sound right? Because I still thought he had long it hair at that be. point. Buddy, I don't know. I, yeah. I just I just remember I was at the ECW school, um, got there before everybody else, and was just watching tapes. And one of the tapes I picked up was this Halloween Havoc and was just watching it. And So it very well could have been 1991. There you go. Well, you, I mean, you get full credit, partial credit. You, you you get some sort of credit for popularizing popularizing the move, if nothing else. And then Steve Austin, people say Steve Austin took over you and that kind of thing. But whoever invented, yeah, the I don't stunner, know the uh, sorry, yeah, man, I don't yeah. know the exact. I don't know the exact timeline of who 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 did it first or what. But it's all the Freebirds. So I like like everything else. I stole it. There's nothing like ninety nine percent of the moves was stolen or it, borrowed. I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of people seem to have done the stunner afterwards. I've written a little list here of variations of. So Kevin Owens does the stunner. Grayson Waller does some sort of like he rolls into the ring and then hits a the stunner. Uh, huh? Ryback does some sort of military press into a stunner, or he did anyway. Orange Cassidy and the Stun Dog Millionaire. There's like a million different variations of it now. Have you got any? As one of the forefathers of the stunner maneuver, let's call you that, if nothing else. Uh, which of the modern versions of the stunner or the people who do the stunner do you like the best? The one I like least is the one John Cena would do. Yes, I'd written that that springboard thing. Yeah, yeah, that would be the worst. <laughs> um, not the best, is it? Steve Austin did it the best. Yeah. <laughs> 